Hello, good morning. I'm going live for this lesson, Introduction to Literature. So I have to invite people first, especially my students, my college students, to be with me in this lesson. Hello, hello. Hello, good morning. So, well, anyway, we're here. All right. Mm, I just don't know if. Okay, so I think we need to start. Our uh, My topic this morning is about literature. Uh, this is specifically for GE students. To be specific, great books, okay? The, the subject is great books. So uh, the first lesson is introduction to literature. So we need to, before we go further to the great books or to appreciate uh, literary compositions around the world, to know the literary compositions around the world, we have to understand first, or we will go back to the basic, which is literature. So this lesson is introduction to literature. Well. I know many of us have heard or have encountered literature already. So, but then at this time, we will say it's a review, okay? So we will just review about uh, literature. So, well, anyway, I just hope my students are here already to be with me in this lesson. Okay, I just hope you're here now, guys. Well, anyway, okay, I will just continue. Uh, well, walang problema kahit kasi kahit tapos na yung video, the, tapos na yung live ko, the video will stay here. I just hope na andyan na kayo so that mas maganda talaga yung uh, nakikita ko na andyan kayo live na live. All right. Well, sige lang. No worries on this thing. So, well, anyway, let me start. Uh, let me show you my slide, uh, Introduction to Literature. So, we have here, why do we read? Why you read pocket books before? Why do you read uh, posts, FB posts? Why do you read news? Why do you read newspapers? Why do you read books? So we have different reasons. You have your reason, your reasons. I have my reason, reasons too. So each of us has his or her reason. Why do we read? Okay, but of course we have this common reason. We read for information for the students like you and for the teachers like me, okay? And we read for fun. So these are the major reasons why do we read. We read for information, especially for students, and we read for fun, okay? So, so we have this fiction and nonfiction compositions, right? So when we say fiction, when we say nonfiction, what do we mean by that? So when we say fiction, these are writings or compositions that are just based on the author's or writer's imagination. For example, ang alamat ng saging. <laughs> okay, so alam natin yon what are fictions. So those are gawa, gawa lamang or katang isip lamang. So these are just figment or of imagination. So this is just, you know, the, the writer's imagination, the writer's thoughts and minds are, are wild and they can think of so many situations or stories 
and this our fiction so it is not based from real situation or i mean it is not written uh it is not or the writing or it's not composition about real happenings so that is fiction and we have non-fiction so when we say non-fiction of course these are the news these are the history so these are the compositions written following the real events or recording the real events so take note non-fictions so everything that you read for example the news uh, the, the the news that you read the history that you've read about jose rizal about the famous writers or about the famous people before us these are non-fiction because these are real okay the question here is but is all fiction literature that's the question is it literature or not okay so you have there your mouth is saying no 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 but your eyes are saying yes 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 what do we mean by this okay so let's proceed to this one literature is concerned with the content and the form so when we say content what's the content what's the thought of the literature so in other words not only the story but the way it is written so we students or teachers if we are going to study literature we are not just after of the story we are going to look at the content of the composition that we are reading uh, the way it is written also how it is written so these are the things that we need to study before we go to a specific book okay so what is literature that is now the question so of course this is introduction to literature and what is literature so literature a body uh, a body of written work okay a body of written works so the name is often applied to those imaginative works of poetry and prose distinguished by the intentions of their authors and the excellence of their execution all right so this is from encyclopedia britannica micropedia again literature is a body of written works the name is often applied to those imaginative works of poetry and prose distinguished by the intentions of their authors and the excellence of their execution so that is according to encyclopedia britannica okay literature it is another definition of literature here the collective writings proper to any language or nations Again, the collective writings proper to any language or nations. So the term literature is site of ideological conflict. It may refer to those cano canonical works in the genres, traditional works considered to be artistic, or it may also refer to the total sum of writings, including letters, memoir, comics historical writings so these are etc so this is from the cambridge Encyclo cambridge encyclopedia so adopted from the cambridge encyclopedia again the collective writings proper to any language or nations so that is according to or it is adopted from cambridge encyclopedia then or literature an intimate experience of an author carefully expressed in concrete images through the use of structure, imaginative style, and luxurious metaphors. And it is not practical or logical communication, but an aesthetic experience. So what is aesthetic? This is for our for fun, for leisure purposes. Again, literature, an intimate experience of an author carefully expressed in concrete images through the use of structure, imaginative style, and luxurious metaphors. 
So it is not practical or logical communication, but an aesthetic experience. For example, you as a student, you have this uh, unforgettable experience, but you have this a very nice experience and you are inspired by this experience. And then you are going to write because your imagination is wild, your writing will be based from your experience. So again, the intimate experience of an author. So you can write anything. You know, everybody is capable of writing, especially when we have this experience that we cannot, uh, what's this, that we can share to everybody that we can be proud of, or an experience that is really something to be shared to other people. So because of your wild imagination and your experience, your own experience, you can compose or you can create or you can have your own writings. So you can make your story or you can make your, your let us say, your poem, your own poem based from your own experience, okay? Partnered with your uh, imagination, your imaginative style. All right, so let's proceed. Literature, another definition here, it is a collection of writings which reflect the experience of class struggle in a society. So the history of literature is therefore a reflection on changing material, economic and social conditions in that society. All right, so C. Marx, Carl, uh, the production of the form of intercourse itself. So again, a collection of writings which reflect the experience of class struggle in a society. So of course, we have different societies and this society or each society has its own struggle or story to tell. Okay. Thus, is revealed the total or revealed the total ex existence of writing. A text is made up of multiple writings drawn from many cultures and entering into mutual relations of dialogue, parody, contestation. But there is one place where this multiplicity is focused, and that place is the reader, not the author. Okay, so take note of that. But there is one place where this multiplicity is focused, focused, and that place is the reader, not the author. So of course, the target is the reader. So the author is to have to do something. How or, for example, if the reader is, of course, you're writing or the composition, you have your specific target, you have your target. If you think that your writing or if your composition is for female, it's more on female. So you have to target the emotion and then the, the sentiments of the female, the, uh, of the women, okay? So that is focused on, a uh, focus on the female if they are your target in the composition, okay? So literature, again, so of course, we will really talk about so many things about literature because this is introduction to literature. So all writing in prose and poetry having permanent value. Prose and poetry. So when we say prose, when we say poetry, what do we mean by this? Prose, there is no, what is, there is no measurement in writing. Example of prose is like the news, the short stories, these are example of prose. An example of poetry, of course, the poem, there is rhythm, there is measurement in the composition. All right, so all writing in prose and poetry having permanent value. So excellent format, an imaginative or critical characteristic and heightened emotional effect. Okay, so there must be emotional effect to any composition. All right, okay. So literature is referred to as the entirely, uh, entire, entirety of written expression. Okay, so entity of written expression with that restriction that not every written document can be categorized as literature in the more exact sense of the word. Okay, literature, etymologically, the Latin word literatura. So it comes from the Latin word literatura or, or is derived from letera, which means 
letter. So it comes from the word lettera in Latin word. And then it becomes literatura. And then in English, letters and then literature. So which is the smallest element of alphabetical writing. Okay. So the word text is related to textile and can be translated as fabric. So just a single threads form of fabric. Imagine the fabric. So your your clothes made of fabric, of course. So words and sentences from form, I mean sentences form a meaningful and coherent text. Okay. Literature or text as cultural and historical phenomena and to investigate the conditions of their production and reception. So prehistoric painting in the cave wall. Look at that. Okay. The beginning of literature, not only pictorial, but acoustic. Spoken word, signs, oral traditions, integral parts of literature. Then before writing develop as a system of signs, whether pictographs or alphabets, texts, or passed on orally, the predecessor of literary expression called oral poetry. And in the 21st century, audio liter literature and the lyrics of songs displayed the acoustic features of literary phenomena through the medium of radio and other sound carriers. Okay. All right. In the Middle Ages, the visual component of writing was highly privileged in such forms as rich, decorated handwritten manuscripts, the arrival of the modern age, along with invention of the printing press made a visual element disappear or reduced it to few illustrations in the text. Okay. So, guys, so this is about literature. So this is about literature, guys. And we will talk more about what are the types and kinds of literature. That will be my second video for this week. Okay? So please take note of that, guys. And then students, uh, great book students, GE12, mag-post po ako ng link for our online quiz. So that is one of, the, uh, one of your requirements. Our online quiz will be scheduled on uh, Thursday or Friday. Abangan na lang po yung post ko. So that will be your task for this week. We will be live in Zoom or via Zoom. So I will be posting my uh, Zoom link. Kasi maganda yung Zoom. Uh, bakit? Kasi mag -quiz -quiz tayo and then you can send your answer individually. So na ako lang po ang makabasa. Again, I just hope na makaabot kayo, kayo dito hanggang dito. Uh, now your requirement is uh, please send me a private message, teacher Effie. So it means nakarating kayo dito, not sa, not sa comment section, but send me a private message. Okay, containing your number and the link of this i mean containing your name and the link of this video guys okay so guys again and again as your attendance for this week or i mean for this video that you've watched this one please uh copy the link of this video or send it to me with your name so it means you have reached this far this is really a requirement for the great book students so well it means you have reached this far or you completely watch the video so thank you so much my apology if i wasn't able to make this lesson in our google classroom because this uh this did not work talaga sa google classroom it went off i tried other headphones and still ganun pa rin ang nangyayari so guys thank you so much again and again keep posted po sa mom every virtual classroom for my uh, announcement uh, important announcement I click nyo lang po yung announcement and you will see the things there again and again pag hindi nyo siya makita sa wall I click nyo lang po yung announcement na version so once nakarating kayo dito na, na portion, send me a message sending the link of this video and your name with your name box. 
Thank you so much. And abangan nyo lang po yung second video ko kasi we need to have two lessons for this week and you need to have two tasks for this week. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, hindi po siya necessary naka-live kayo ngayon. You can watch this video or others who are not uh, live with me. You can watch this video later or within the day or the following day. Basta, it's very important to watch this this week. So, great book students. Thank you. Thank you. And again and again, which for my, oh, wait, for my second video, keep, uh, what's this? You have to save, I mean, you have to save this link sent to me. Okay, so keep posted, guys. Thank you, and bye-bye. So again, this is just an introduction uh, to literature, and then second lesson, we will go to the genres. We will talk about poetry and prose, the kinds of poetry, the kind of prose. Thank you. Bye-bye.